This is Kevin Ring from Evolve Las Vegas. Once again, joining you from Infocom 2019 here in Orlando. We are in the Barco Whisper Suite. <laughs> joined by Andreas Yukostas uh, from uh, the director of R&D for image processing at Barco. Sorry, that was a bit of a mouthful, but that's yes. okay. So they're giving us a sneak peek into a couple new products coming out the remainder of this year in the Event Master Toolset family, uh, as well as some software updates 6.5, 7.0, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. But the key point that the elephant in the room is there's an E2 behind us, Andreas, and I noticed that it is not the normal color. What can you tell me about this box? Well, uh, as you already know this, Kevin, uh, the front is black, and this is the second generation E2. So this, uh, now that we have all second generation cards, we want to bring the new, the new version to the market, the new E2 second generation. So the black front panel clearly identifies it as the second version. And of course, it will ship with all second generation cards. So what's also new and different from the first generation, uh, all input slots will support 2,4K. So first generation, that was only possible for four of the eight slots. Yes. Now all eight slots support 2,4K, so a total of 16 4K inputs, and on the output side, all slots already supported 2-4K, so uh, 6-4K with multi-viewer or 8-4K without multi-viewer. What's also new, uh, it's a refresh of the product addressing some uh, end-of-life obsolescence. After five years of shipping the product, uh, we had to refresh it a bit, so new CPU and new power supplies to also make sure it's fully redundant because it is loaded with the second generation cards. I remember yeah. hearing about that not yeah. too long ago, so this problem has been yes. solved with this new Gen 2 system. Absolutely. Wonderful. And so, so that is available as of September with release 7.0. Fantastic. Is there anything else that you can share yes, with us? Yes, of course there is. So what we have over here on this screen right now, we have an Xbox over here and we run it through our E2 and up to this nice big display over here. Yes. And you will notice over here, uh, this colori colorimetry uh, is 601, right? Yes. So, um, so now, because the input from the Xbox, that's what the Xbox is giving us. Well, notice the change right now as we started the game. Oh, we see I some see new nice. words. We see some rec, interesting words. rec 2020, we see HDCP 2.2, um, so HDR 10. I see HDR so 10. a lot of new acronyms come to life. And we could now actually take the GUI away and just show you some HDR content. Um, Okay, of course, we're not very good at driving, but um, as you can see, uh, the, ima the, image, the image really comes to life. So 4K, HDR10, yes. passing through the Barco Event Master System. Yes, absolutely. That is available a bit sooner. This is available with our release 6.5. And 6.5, we're expecting? We're expecting it. It's running in our booth right now. It's in beta testing, and we're expecting it in early July. It should fantastic. be shipping. That's fantastic. And, and that's not all, because that's I anticipate all. your next question. Okay, so okay. if we turn around here for a Let's second. Turn around. So what we have over here, uh, we have two of our S3 processors. And as, as you can see, they are linked, Correct. right? So link. all link connections occupied. So uh, for some time now, uh, our customers have been asking, wh how do we bring the EX in the picture? Well, you can't. It's a fully linked system. Exactly. Well, that problem is now solved. Okay. So you see we have over there, we have an EX. And over here, we're bringing it into this new card. And notice this card over here is a weird one. It has both blue and green. So it's an input or an output card. Right now, it's in an input slot. And it's connected to the EX over there. Okay. And we're sending the videos into this input slot. And they're fully integrated into the S3. And that's not all. The next thing that we're showing here, yes. as you can notice, these cards in these two S3s are the HDMI 2 output card yes. operating as multi-viewers. 
Okay. So these S3s that you see over here are running our version 7 software okay. that's going to be released concurrently with the release of our second generation E2 in September. So 7.0 .0 brings you the 4K multi viewer. And right behind you, <laughs> right behind you, that's what we're looking at. That's one S3. That's a four. F that's one 4K multi viewer. The the top left image is a full HD resolution, and and of course you can utilize that to its full power. That's fantastic. And the other nice mode that we're bringing with the new HDMI 2 card in the second S3. Yes. We have see all four outputs here are connected, looping back into the inputs, and then we send them over up to this screen. Okay. And as you can see on that screen now, we are showing four multi-viewers, four HD multi-viewers. Customers have been asking, can you enable the additional two outputs? Well, we couldn't point. on the first generation cards. Now we have the horsepower to bring you not only 4K, okay. we can bring you 4 <laughs> HD because it seems in events everybody and their brother needs a multi-viewer. So more multi-viewers, <laughs> the better. That's fantastic. So one question I have for you, sir, is... Uh, you have the Gen 2 E2. Do I need to have this new Gen 2 system to get these new features of the 4K multi-viewer, the CXP card? Absolutely not, and we're demonstrating it right here. These are S3s, and they are running the new code, so all the features will be backwards compatible. The CXP card available in all, uh, in all, uh, in all our products. The, the multi-viewer can be available with 7.0 as an upgrade. Okay. And let's not forget this lonely There's card sitting over here so okay. you're looking at this card it's green so it's an output card and this is our fiber output card so we have the two cages over here okay. this is fully SIMTIP compatible so we support uh, all the SDI standards over fiber okay so standard SIMTI LC cable uh, wow. so customers most likely have that already they can use their own um, uh, transceivers and this card will be available to ship as of uh, next month. Uh, 6.5 code release uh, supports it. Okay. We're running two projectors in our booth, the two HDX. Yes. We're running them directly from E2s with these fiber cards. That's fantastic. Um, so we have fiber card, CXP card, new multi-viewer, e Gen, uh, Gen 2 E2, HDR pass-through. Fantastic. Just when you think that there's nothing, that you can't do anything else. We have... And a few other, and a few other uh, tricks. Uh, well, this is our that. cues. Well, look so, at that. So we're adding a go-to, so okay. we can add loops now with, uh, with release 6.5. So this will be available next month. <laughs> oh, that's fantastic. Yeah, there are quite a few other little features. These are, we're focusing, of course, on the, on the big ones. But sure. two very impactful releases to continue uh, evolving our product, I, if I may borrow that word, uh, to continue evolving it and enhancing it. Uh, five years after it has been released, it just grows and grows. Just when you think there's nothing more, I, you once again, absolute game-changing products, game-changing releases. We couldn't be more excited, and I'm, I'm ecstatic for what the next five years will hold. Sir, thank you for your time. Really appreciate it.